in the finals against Easy Drop D, and we win the die roll. Yes, we want to play first. But no, we don't want to keep this hand. Not at all. Boink. Um, this I'm going to keep mainly because we, has, we have all of our mana and we have this uh, Sentinel to keep things going for a while. And then hopefully we'll just draw into, um, you know, some spells. But we should be able to cast all of our spells. Eventually we'll need a double black. But I'm not too worried about that given the mana base. And I'd rather do this than go down to five on the play. It takes me a lot to want to go down to five on the play. Especially if I actually have, you know, lands and spells in general. I'm just going to go ahead and be more likely just to uh, trust the fact that... The, you know, I made the deck somewhat playable with this somewhat curve and somewhat uh, nice balance of spells and lands. So that's the game plan. Okay, so that was a really lame, like, end of the entire tournament. Uh, I had one opponent bail, uh, you know, last match you saw that, because they had to go, bummer for that opponent. And now this opponent got disconnected and timed out. Ugh. Um, I mean, yay, I got some packs. Uh, I'm going to try to get another draft in. I don't know if I have enough time to get another draft in on a recording before I have to get this posted, but I'll give her a try. If not, then you're listening to this. It's because I wasn't able to make it happen. Um, so if this is up, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Ryan from Mana Bluff again. Comment, subscribe, and like on YouTube. Find me on Twitter, underscore, underscore, RGH, underscore, underscore. And um, if you leave comments on manabluff.com, I promise to respond to them. See you next week. Peace.